In this video, I'm going to show you why diabetes is not genetic and what we do for our clients to reverse it. Hello and welcome to Total Health with Dr. Nick, where my purpose is to inspire, empower, and motivate you to live longer, healthier, and more abundant lives. And this is a great video because today I'm going to talk to you about why diabetes is not genetic. And I know a lot of you believe that. You're thinking, my dad's got it, my mom's got it, my great aunt uncle have it. It doesn't mean you have to have it. So today's video, I'm going to show you evidence and proof as to why it's not a genetic disorder. And why is that important? Because it puts you in control. It means you have a hand in it. You can actually correct it by things that you do. And we're going to talk about what those things are in this video. First of all, let's talk about some of the complications of diabetes. So there's many, many complicating factors that go along with diabetes. And unfortunately, diabetes ends up causing many of the other problems that people are suffering and struggling with every single day when it comes to their health, like things like heart disease. Most of you don't realize that diabetes plays a crucial role with heart disease, most diabetics end up developing heart conditions. Most diabetics end up getting peripheral vascular disease, kidney disease, because of the fact that when your body is so stressed, when your kidneys are trying to filter all this sugar that's overflowing, it ends up causing damage to the very, very delicate tissues within the kidneys themselves. It could actually cause stroke. Many cases of stroke are directly related to diabetes. So this isn't something you're thinking of, well, I just want to take care of my diabetes. You need to start looking at other things. What other factors, what other things are, are coming into play when it comes to diabetes? I know a lot of you are thinking, well, it's, it's, it's about me. I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can for myself. But many of you need to look at what are other problems that are created. How is it affecting your family? How is it affecting your spouse? How's it affecting your love life? Are you finding that you have no energy to be able to go out to the mailbox? Do you find that you don't want to go out and visit with friends or go anywhere because you're so out of shape or you don't feel good or you're tired or you have brain fog all the time? Or maybe you're looking at it going, and I have many of my clients tell me this, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to live long enough to walk my child down the aisle. And if you're thinking that, then this is a video you want to watch and share it to others. Show others this video too because there's things we're going to talk about that can help reverse diabetes. And what our clients are doing, retinopathy, visual problems, blindness, it affects the optic nerve and the retina in the eye. So many diabetics end up going blind. And if that's not the case, many of them end up losing limbs. Maybe you have your feet or your, your ankles cut off. I had this happen to one of my uncles, my Uncle George. Now, he's not blood related to me, but he was married to my Aunt Kay, and we saw that. He could not get control of his diabetes, and as a result, it started causing all kinds of other health issues that, once again, you know, trickled into the family. You've got to look at it like a ripple effect. Your health can ripple into the lives of other people, the ones you love. Look at the ones that you, that you have to take care of, maybe. Your children. One of my... Uh, clients was telling me recently that she had to make changes because her husband had passed away. She was all her children had at this point. So if she didn't get well and she didn't get better and she didn't take care of herself, how was she going to take care of her children? And she did not want to orphan her own children. So there's a lot of things you need to think about when it comes to diabetes. Your increased risk of cancer and of course obesity or as I call it diabetes because it's definitely related to the diabetic problem. Now, I like to say it's not a genetic issue. In fact, my saying is this, that our genes are the gun, but your lifestyle is the trigger, okay? The genes are the gun, but your lifestyle is the trigger. You determine whether you do things that turn your genes on or you turn your genes off. This is all based in epigenetics, and one of the foremost molecular biologists on the planet is Dr. Bruce Lipton. Dr. Bruce Lipton says this, a cell is a programmable chip whose behavior and genetic activity are primarily controlled by environmental signals, not genes. Okay, get that. It's a programmable chip. So basically, your environment dictates how your genes are expressed. Many of you think of your genes as like you're just a victim of it, that your genes are the way they are, your parents gave them to you, their parents gave them to them, and that's just the way it is. You have no choice. You were dealt a bad hand. Well, I'm here to tell you 
That's not the case, that's not true. Your lifestyle can actually change how your genes are expressed. I want you to think of genes a little bit differently. Think of genes like, like an architectural plans. So you go to an architect's office and you walk into his office and you say, Mr. Architect, do you have plans for a single family home ranch style? And he says, well, let me look, hold on a second. He goes into a file cabinet, he pulls out the plans. He says, yep, here they are right here. And he rolls them right out onto the desk. Well, do you have plans for a single family home, but a two level? Well, let me look. Yep, absolutely, right here, here you go. And there's these plans off to the side here. Well, I'm gonna need a shed in the backyard. Do you have plans for a shed? Well, let me see, he goes into another drawer, pulls it out, he goes, yep, here's the plans right here. Well, I'm gonna, I work in an office building, we wanna remodel a building or put up a new building. Do you have plans for an office building? Absolutely, we have plans for that too. And he goes into another drawer and he pulls out a whole bunch of other plans. Or what if you need a skyscraper or whatever it may be? What is determining which plans he's gonna be using that day? What order comes in? What are people asking for? What are people wanting to build? That's what's gonna determine it. The plans are all there. They're all in his warehouse. They're maybe all on his desk or they're all in a file cabinet, but the plans or the blueprints are all there. What determines which ones he's gonna be using is the order that comes in. Who's looking to build what? Well, your body's the same way. Your body's saying, hey, because of this environment, what's around the cell in the extracellular matrix or extracellular solution or your blood, what is around there that's gonna dictate what the cell has to do to adapt? And that's what it's really all about. I like to say that DNA is not the brains of the cell because many of us think it is but instead the brains of the cell are the membrane of the cell. The outer portion right here that has all the little antennae, all the little sensors that are sensing the environment and knowing what they're gonna be letting in and what they're not gonna be letting in. It is a barrier if it's something they need inside the cell like food to manufacture proteins and it brings in nutrients and vitamins and minerals, it lets that in. If it's waste products, it lets it out. If it's a toxin, it doesn't open its doors. It doesn't open the vault, nothing gets inside the cell, or at least you don't want it to. So that's what it's all about. The environment dictates, just like Dr. Bruce Lipton says, it's a programmable chip that the environmental signals dictate what the cell produces, not the genes. Now, like I said, what does that mean to you? That means you're in control. You get to dictate, not your parents, not your genetics, not your genes, you get to dictate your health. So that means you get to also reverse diabetes. Now, this is what we do when it comes to all of our patients because what we start to look at is your nutrition. One of the things we do is our metabolic healing diet. Very similar to the ketogenic diet, but it's even upgraded, even more than that. Where we use their genetic DNA information to be able to customize their nutrition exactly. And how we do that is we send them one of these kits. So when they get this kit in the mail, they barcode on the back, they register the kit, they take a swab sample on the inside of their cheek, they then take the kit and mail it to the location for the lab. The lab then does the data, the data gets sent to me, and then what we do is we look at it in a report form and we figure out exactly what our clients need to be able to dial in their nutrition exactly based on their DNA. We're virtually the only place that I know of that even does this level of technology. The next thing we do is we look at their food sensitivity. So when you're looking at reversing diabetes, another thing you wanna look at is what foods you're sensitive to. Because here's the thing, most people, and I'm not gonna say all or, or a large percentage, but most people maybe do not have a problem with insulin. They have insulin, they're making it. Maybe not enough, but most people, maybe they're making enough. And then what happens is their body has insulin resistance. And with insulin's resistance, your body's not reading insulin. There's insulin out there, there's insulin in your cells, there's insulin in your extracellular matrix and, and fluids but your body's not hearing it. Insulin is knocking at the door saying, hey, I've got some sugar here. I'd like to bring it into the cell to be burned for fuel, but it's not hearing it. So by knowing what you're sensitive to and knowing exactly what foods, and even though certain foods may be good for some people, might not be good for you. Some people might have an allergy to maybe sulfur foods like broccoli or cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, things like that. Then as a result, your body doesn't do well with it, it builds up inflammation. Well, inflammation could be a cause of insulin resistance. What we find with many of our clients is not that they have so much 
insulin problems where their body's not producing enough of it, many of them just have insulin resistance. So one of our clients, Sean H, said, my only goal was to lower my blood sugar. I wasn't concerned about losing weight, but wow, did I. I'm currently 215 pounds and I've reversed my type 2 diabetes and most of my health issues have gone away. My waist has gone from 46 inches to 32 inches. That is huge. I've gone from 4X shirts to a recently purchased medium. I've been on no meds for a year now. In all my visits over all the years with all the medical problems, not once did a doctor ever ask me what my diet consisted of. They only treated my symptoms and were all too happy to write prescriptions for me to take. Usually metformin, of course. Thank you and a few doctors out there willing to truly help the general population with your knowledge and truthful information. Well, thanks, Sean. I appreciate that. But you know, it's just, it's very typical of our clients. What we want to do is to be able to help you reverse the problem. Not just mask it with a pill, not just mask it with metformin, not just give it something that just keeps whipping your pancreas and whipping your pancreas and whipping your pancreas, trying to make more and more insulin. It's not about that. It's about improving the quality of your life and reversing the cause of diabetes. Like I said, many times it's coming from inflammation. It's coming from toxins. It's coming from the wrong diet. So what we do for our clients is, is we help you get to the root cause of it. So don't settle. I know a lot of you are thinking out there, I know this is probably fine for someone else, but it's not good for me. I, I've been told I have diabetes, I can't reverse it. My doctor says there's just no way to do it. Don't settle for a diagnosis like that. You were made for better than that. God created you for greatness. Don't believe that you were created to be sick, that you were created to be ill, that somehow God gave better genes to better families. It's not about your genes. It's about the fact that you can have control. Now, I realize that some of you may be saying, but I don't know what to do, Dr. Nick. And I, I, I'm gonna tell you this straight up. I'm just gonna tell you straight from the heart. There are many diet books out there. There's information out there. You can Google diabetes. There's books on nutrition. There's books on exercise. We don't have a shortage of a gym in the area either. There's plenty of gyms around. But we do have a shortage of transformation. There's information, but no transformation. There's books, like I said, everywhere on what to do, but there's not transformation. What we offer our patients and what I'm offering you is transformation. You know, some of you don't know what to do. You don't know what to eat. You don't know how to meal plan. You don't know how to shop. You don't know how to do any of these different things. You don't know how to detox. Maybe you don't know how to know what foods you're sensitive to. Some foods you might, you might eat something, you blow it up and you can figure it out pretty quickly, but many of you don't know that. So that's what we're offering. So for people who are interested in learning more about, or maybe even having us help you, reach out to us. I'm gonna put a link down below so that you can make a call. We call it a strategy or a breakthrough strategy call to see what you can do to help reverse your diabetes. And the good news is, is this, if you want our help and we can help you close that gap and help speed up the process and hand and hold your hand and make it easier for you, we're here for that. If not, and you don't want our help, that's okay too. But at least we'll give you some good information. So I can tell you this, of all the people we've helped, and I've done this for 31 years now, of all the people we helped, the ones who get the help are the ones who reach out are the ones who raise their hand and say, hey, I need the help. I can't do this on my own. You maybe need a mentor. You need a coach. I can be that for you. If not, that's okay too. Continue to watch my videos, learn information, go on other websites, check out other doctors, but get the information and start to reverse your diabetes. Because like I said, there's too many other complicating factors, heart disease, diabetic retinopathy, blindness, amputations, kidney disease. Think of what it does to your family. Think of what it does to your spouse. How many of you feel ashamed? Maybe you don't like the way you look anymore. Maybe you're afraid that your spouse is gonna leave you because you don't look attractive to them anymore. Ask for help. All of our clients who got the help and reversed their diabetes started with one thing, asking for help. Like I said, if you would like the help, there's a number that's gonna be posted down below or a link down below. All you do is click on that. It's gonna take you to a calendar where you can schedule your call and that's it. We'll get on the phone for about an hour. We'll laugh, we'll cry, we'll figure it out. We're gonna come up with three things. The one thing we're gonna come up with is what's not working in your health right now.
The second thing we're going to figure out is where do you want your health to go? What does health look like to you? If you had that happy dance going, what does that look like to you? Is it walking your daughter down the aisle to her wedding? Is it being able to play outside with your grandkids? What does that look like to you? What does your optimal health look like to you? And then number three, like I said, if we can close that gap and help you to achieve that, then we're here for you. If it's something we can't and, and I can refer you to someone else or help steer you in another direction, I'll do that too. Or if you just don't want my help, that's okay. But we'll get on a phone and it'll be the best 45 to 60 minutes you ever spend on figuring out exactly what's going on with your health and we'll give you strategies. And like I said, if you don't want our help, that's okay, but you'll take those strategies and be able to use them. So guys, I appreciate you listening. I love and appreciate you. I truly wanna help you, so if you would like our help, just reach out. And if you don't, like I said, that's okay too. Continue to get the information off my channel. But if you reach out and you want our help, I'll do the best I can to help you. All right, guys, I love and appreciate you again. This is Dr. Nick. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.